Caleb. You want grandma to take Caleb? Oh, Caleb. Caleb, do you want to come? Caleb. Caleb. Do you want to come? <laughs> he shook his head. <laughs> shook his head. <laughs> so my mom is just here. She's going to take the twins with her. Are you going to spend time with grandma? You want to take Caleb? Oh, yeah. You're going to have to ask grandma if you wanted to take Caleb. She's only going to take the two of you. Brother and sister to grandma. You see, he shook his head. <laughs> he shook his head. <laughs> Good morning. So the kids are with grandma, which means it's just me and Sam for the next few hours. So Sam and I are just doing a spot of housework right now. What you doing, baby? Oh really? Um. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Is this how how to do them? First time ever. I'm not sure what I'm doing. First time ever. Like I think so, love. He doesn't want to admit that he helps, but he really does help. I really appreciate him. I appreciate a man who helps his wife around the house. I love you, baby. Oh, Good morning, everybody. Hello. So, uh, kiddies are with grandma. Thank God for Grandma. Oh, yeah. And we decided to do a few things around the house, and then I was heading to the gym. And then this handsome fan man decided to follow me. Well, I think he's just really checking up on me. So I try and do a workout, especially on the weekend, in the daytime. So I'm a bit more motivated during the day. And because, you know, we haven't got the twins with us, sounds like, let's go and try out this gym thing you're always doing. He actually doesn't even go to gym, he doesn't have a gym membership. I do membership. other stuff, I do other stuff. I don't really know what he does stuff. to keep fit, to be honest. TV, <laughs> PlayStation, <laughs> playing with the kids. But he's going to help me today and just push me because I really, you know, I've got certain post baby weight targets to hit and I'm really not there yet. So Sam's like, I'm going to come and help you, babe, which means... I'm just here for bonding. <laughs> me and you time, love. Oh, thanks, love. So you're not going to, like, push me or anything? So nothing too... Nothing too intense, Nothing please. too army style. No. But we'll be there in a bit. You and I till the end Don't be too pretend Again and again We'll stick together So we are at grandma's house and Sam and I just recorded a video I'm not sure it will be out before or after this video but I'll link it down below It's another marriage video So we're still trying to keep up with this marriage series and I hope you're all enjoying it So me and mama are just going to do some cooking Some cooking cooking And Caleb is here Say hello Oh, you are just so peaceful there Back by grandma I smell okra You smell okra? <laughs> I smell okra. I don't know how we can smell raw okra, but we've got some okra there, which is gonna be cooked. And I'm gonna work on the pounded jam, so we'll see how it goes. So this is the current situation. We are trying to get to church on time. And 
it's ridiculous because none of the twin shoes fit and I'm literally going through a million pairs just trying to get one to fit because you guys your feet are getting so big so literally just trying to find anything that will fit I have these gap pairs which are brand this new one is nothing. this one is this one doesn't have a number that one doesn't have an oh it does it's size so this one's size 11 and it's too small for her too small for a three-year-old size 11 it's unreal uh, so I found these uh, pair, uh, pair. Olivia what size is this one 12 12, good girl. All right, so let's try on this. And hopefully we'll be out of the house real soon. So the struggle to get out of the house on time. So we're just on the way to church. We made it, all five of us. <laughs> so we shall be there in a bit. We're just heading in now. We're going to Sunday school. Mom, this way. This way is so bad. We are back home now and the kids are here. The twins are playing on their iPads, just keeping themselves entertained. Little so Caleb is here. We're waiting for him to have his grub. Oh, is that the doorbell? Yes. I think that's the same we shop. Hello. Hi. You okay? Yeah, good, you? I'm good, thank you. Right, we had, we didn't have your courgettes. And they've substituted your... The shopping's here. Do you want to help Daddy sort it out, guys? Yeah. yeah. Hey, she's so helpful. Where's the apple? Hey, baby. The mango. That is a big mango. Do you want to put everything on the table for mango. me? Daddy, we're helping you so we can eat it for dinner. Thank you, Princess. Daddy, carrots. And the milk. Carrots. And the milk. Thank you very So the shop has just come, which means we have enough ingredients to work on brunch now, which Chef Sam is working on. Pancakes. That's like to make pancakes. Classic brunch. Yeah. yeah and he's got some little pancakes. helpers. Ready, steady. One, two, three. Go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, so it's Monday morning and the kids are all still sleeping. I was just about to wake them up because it's just gone seven o'clock. And I thought maybe I'll let them enjoy a little bit for lion's sake. So I thought I'd use this as a great opportunity just to say hi and do a little catch up. I know I'm working on being a lot more consistent with these family vlogs especially and just, you know, making sure, at least trying to do them weekly, sharing with you what we get up to. So this vlog, I'm not too sure how it's going to turn out because I mainly vlog on the weekend, but I'm going to try and include some of the weekday bits, hence it's Monday today and maybe another day during the week just so you can see what we get up to because I have been asked about that but I always thought it would be quite boring because during the week obviously we're both working especially Sam who works extra long hours like he's already gone so it's quite a busy day I'm just working on editing a video for Channel Mum which I have to send off to them by lunchtime because I've got work I'm trying to finish it now so I can send them off to them this morning and I'm also going to share with you what I covered in my quiet time early on today and also share with you the comment of the week so usually for comment of the week, I share one comment, but I'm going to cheat a little bit and highlight three this time. And it's based on my last video, which was a life update video, but just covering how I balance marriage and motherhood with my dental career and my postgraduate studies and YouTube and also sharing my testimony as well. And I'm just... You know, so grateful and encouraged by all the amazing messages. I'm just so glad they encouraged and inspired so many people and truly gave God the glory. Okay, so first comment is from <laughs> Sissy Yemi. And she said, thank God you've recovered and congratulations on being sponsored by Channel Mom. Thank you, Sissy. If you don't know her, be sure to check out her channel. She does amazing meals and family vlogs and chit chats. And she's just so sweet and so, so supportive. All right, next comment is from Ira, lovely video. Can you please make a video on how to hear God's voice clearly? This is actually quite a common question I get asked in emails, that and how to study the Bible as well. And I believe the two do go hand in hand, that you have to be studying the word as believers. And as believers, it's important that we, you know, that we hear God's voice for ourselves rather than always having to rely on somebody else to hear the voice of God for our own lives. So I guess it's probably a good time for me to think about doing it as a video rather than just always replying to the same questions on email. So thank you for that suggestion. Okay, so the last one I'm going to do is from Sarah Abbey, and I remember this one. She says that she is a mum and a wife and entrepreneur. She just started a business, and it has not been easy at all. I'm sure a lot of people find themselves in this situation. And she watched the video, she's really encouraged, and the Lord's just really been speaking to her about a few things and giving her clear instructions on what to do. So I'm so, so glad about that. I guess my prayer and desire is that you know she truly and any of you who are in the same situation truly is walking in obedience and remember as believers we walk by faith and not by sight. So I'm going to share with you what I covered in my quiet time today and one of the key verses that was part of my heart to share was in Romans 1 16. It's here. I don't know if you can read it, it gets in focus. It just says, For I am not ashamed of the good news about Christ. It is the power of God at work, saving everyone who believes. And I am using this version, which is the NLT Life Application Study Bible. Other versions, I believe, say I'm not ashamed of the gospel, but this version says the good news, but it's basically the same thing. So I was just meditating on it and made a few notes. I was using this journal, and this journal is the bomb.com. I love shouting out small businesses, and this journal is actually sent to me from a lovely lady called Alethea, and she wants a small business called Echoes of Her Heart. And the shop and they sell journals which just encourage women to cultivate an intimate relationship with Christ so definitely encourage you to check it out and I will link her details down below of where she sells her journals okay so back to today's quiet time reading so Paul writes his letter to the church at Rome and he's basically just telling them not to be ashamed of the gospel so I started thinking about it and how that transcends to us as Christians who have so much fear in sharing the good news so much fear in sharing our story and sharing our testimony and I was like why do we have this fear I think a lot of it is just based on the fact that we carry a lot of insecurity and a lot of that is rooted especially now just looking at social media and comparing your behind the scenes so a lot of people's highlight reel and just carrying with that a lot of insecurity because you suddenly feel like you're not perfect you can't match up to a square on Instagram with a ton of likes and it's been filtered and even with all the goals 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 behind that picture the truth is nobody's life is perfect everybody has gone through something or is going through something just because they don't put it all out there on social media so I do think it's so important as believers to share the good news and not be ashamed of it and to share our story now I'm not saying that we go around 
around oh my voice <clears throat> sorry i'm not saying that we go around just telling all our business out there but we truly have to be led by the lord so we give him the glory and the truth is people love you say and hate you tomorrow so you can't you know run your life on other people's opinions so when it comes to you know the fact that if you've got you know revelation of god and god's spoken to you saying i want to share this story and how he wants to share it, whether he wants you to share it with a small group of people your neighbor across the street a girl in your small group or you know put it out there on your social media platform that you walk in obedience but most times we don't do it because a lot of the time we're just ashamed we're just embarrassed thinking oh my gosh how can God use me I'm like you know God used Paul in this word to like spread the good news I'm sure this guy I think he like persecuted a ton of Christians so if God can use him he can use anybody but he uses whoever is willing but I want us to truly think about the consequences of our lack of obedience you know if the Lord has told us to do something to share our testimony we have to think about the fact that you know there is truly a message behind whatever mess you've been through you know whatever wound you carry there someone else can find healing through it and the importance of a testimony is that you know I've heard the fact that a testimony truly is you know the key that can unlock somebody else's prison so we have to have um, like an eternity mindset behind it and so when we think about oh I'm ashamed of what people think about us yeah I can't do anything about you know you might feeling be feeling ashamed about sharing your testimony but i hope by spending time in god's word you develop i just a bit like an eternity mindset about it where you're so much more concerned about what you know god has told you to do and pleasing god that you that overrides whatever shame or embarrassment of what you think other people's opinion is about you because truth is at the end of the day this word tells us that we're gonna face god you know and he's gonna you know, open up the book of life and that's who we're gonna face not the people around us so you don't need to care about how many likes it's gonna get people's opinion are on it you just need to walk in obedience okay I'm gonna wake up these kids so I can get ready for work. All right, bye. Olivia's helping me with breakfast now because they're gonna have some oatmeal. And I'm also gonna add some blueberries. So these are just some frozen blueberries I actually got from Iceland, which have been a lifesaver. So you should buy, uh, excuse me, thank you very much. I actually buy like regular fresh blueberries, but I find that they go bad quite quickly. So I decided to just buy frozen ones. But I want to eat it like that. No, you can't eat it. Olivia, it's going to burn your tongue. No, it's not. It's really hot. But it's, it's not that hot. I believe me, it's, it's hot, sweetheart. <laughs> All right, drop them in. Maybe a few more. Yeah. Right, don't put your finger in there because it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, okay. Let's go and wash your hands. Oh, All right. you me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see your hands. Good job. Yeah. Drop some blueberries in. Good job. Yeah. We need to make like this. Yeah, good job, buddy. Ooh, that's delicious. Hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you hungry? You ready to eat? <laughs> thank you, God. Um, thank you, God, for the food, for the present, and the name, and love the world to Jesus and God who made it the world. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right, eat up, guys. <laughs> I want to do your back. Oh, did you want to do this? I want to do your back. I want to do your back, mommy. I want to do your back. I want to do your back. I want to do your back. You're such a good big brother. Good job, bro. Here comes the rabbit play. Sometimes babies do make mess. <laughs> hey guys, so I am at work. It's gonna be a very, very busy day. I don't think I've really vlogged at work before, but yeah, just got a few patients to see, and this is pretty much what I do. I love my job, I love seeing patients and just helping people have happy, healthier smiles. So I'll show you guys around before I see my first patient. I'm in this surgery. 
green surgery because everything is green and I love it I know some people probably look at this and they're like so so scared there's a few other surgeries down there decon room so that's it so I'm about to crack on I'll see you guys in a bit bye hi everybody so I'm here feeding Kayla butternut squash and sweet hey. potato with leek and that's what he's having right now it's been a really busy day but my wonderful friend Kika has come hey. round to help her sister out. Hey Hi. Kika! Hey Beebs! Thank no, you sir. No, bad. I said hey Beebs, he Beebs, so it's like a... What? I said hey Beebs, am I supposed to say that? Why? I was like hey guys, no? <laughs> Kika, this is not like... I, I might leave this on because this is quite funny. <laughs> Are you serious? You're not going to leave that on. I don't have a name for hey people watch me. I have a name for your people. I should have a name for like my the people. Like the Beebs. The Beebs? What should I got? My, my kitchen is such a mess right now, guys. The Bieber. Alright, uh, you know what? Can you guys please suggest a name down below for my... Is it like a squad name? I don't want to call it a squad because it's not... I feel like squads. It's like a family. You're part of the family, guys. I could call you all family. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> so, I've got my wonderful friend with me who I'm reintroducing. It is Kika. Hey, everybody. And I met Kika, how did we meet? We met on like, I think I messaged her on Instagram. I, I, I stalked her, ignore my look today guys. People will refuse it, you know what I mean? Hello, even with my hat on. <laughs> She doesn't want to show herself, but she looks beautiful. Are you okay to show you? You are yes. beautiful. And look, guys, I'm six foot one. Six foot one. And this girl, she keeps telling me she's taller than me. I, I don't believe it. Turn around, Diana. Who's taller? No, you must be at least. Maybe. Maybe I'm six. So, Maybe basically, is a pretty intense week. Yes. My parents are actually away on holiday, so it's been pretty busy, and I've got an exam coming up. So. I was just chilling, just trying to get stuff done when my wonderful friend Kika sent me a message. And what did you say? Do you need any help? Literally, <laughs> that was it. Like, guys, the Lord, I'm just showing you just to show that the Lord literally does provide. It's been the most intense week. I've been mean, running around the whole place. Sorry, Sorry. Running around the whole place. And then I was literally telling Sam, you know, I'm getting a little, you know, I'm starting to get a little bit overwhelmed. And we just kind of prayed, just prayed for the Lord to provide and prayed for the Lord to just, you know, give us strength. And literally that same day I got a text message from Kika and she was here straight oh, away. And I just, I just really, really appreciate it. I came, I came for the food, really. She's gonna feed me. I'm, here, I'm, I'm happy. happy. Hello, little man. So it looks like you are gonna have to have a, another bath today, which will be bath number two in the space of a few hours because we have a situation. We have a situation. We have a situation. Okay, let's name animals, guys. Do you know what the last sound is? Oh, what? That's the buffalo. Oh, that's the buffalo. Hey guys, so Kika has left and Sam is downstairs with the twins, but I'm going to show you, this is pretty much my current situation, which is trying to get some studying done, because my parents have been away on holiday this week, and Kika just pretty much called me saying, do you need any help? And I was like, yes, thank you. So she's just been amazing this week, and the reason I'm not really showing myself right now is because I'm not wearing my unit, I'm just about to get ready to go out with Sam, we're going to have date night this evening, and so I'm not wearing it, I need to tong it. I hope it doesn't look weird, me vlogging. But the thing is, I'm so tall, I can't show my face on this mirror anyway. I don't know if anyone's like me, just loads of highlighters to study and these post-it cards are amazing so I said I finished studying so my next dilemma is picking what to wear because Sam and I are going on date night so I'm deciding which top to go for I know they're pretty simple but they're both from Zara and I love them but I think I much prefer this one especially with the detail on the back the button detail there grandma's gonna have the kids and because she just come back from her trip I know she's gonna be super tired so Sam has agreed to just take the twins out to run around a bit so they're not too energetic by the time she has them so I will think I'll probably pair these with some black trousers but I'll be super quick because I need to give him the camera because he's going to be vlogging so I'll see how that goes, Sam vlogging so let's see how he does Hey guys, so uh, wow. just before we go and see grandma and grandpa no, we're going to ride our scooters aren't we guys? Come on, let's go to the park. 
We're not going in muddy puddles. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out for the Noah. Hey guys. Hey. So it is date night. Date night. See, we get really excited when we're child free. Uh -huh. Car's so quiet. So, mummy and daddy are going to have some alone time, and mummy's off duty cooking tonight. Mm -hmm. 